Hi everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you how to reset your forgotten Windows 11 password using the command prompt. It's a very simple process and all you have to do is simply follow my instructions. And by the way, it also works for Windows 10. So let's get started. First, we need to find a way to start the command prompt on the login screen, which you can't by default. But we can easily reassign a button on the login screen, which will start the command prompt. For example, this accessibility button down here starts the utilman.exe application. But instead, we can start cmd.exe. And all we need to do is just swap the names of those two applications. And to do that, we need to boot into the advanced startup options menu. Press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard, then click on the power button and select Restart. Once you get to the Advanced Startup menu, click Troubleshoot, click Advanced Options, and then click on the command prompt. Next, we need to find out the letter of the main system disk. Usually it's the C drive, so let's try it first. Type C, colon, press Enter, then type dir command, which is used to list files and folders in the current directory, and hit enter. Now we can see that this is the main system partition which has Windows, Users and Program Files folders. For example, if I repeat the same process for the D drive, as you can see it's a system partition with the boot files. And if we try to access the F drive, which doesn't exist here, we'll get the system cannot find the drive specified. So it's pretty easy to find the main system partition. Next, we need to get into the System32 folder, which contains utilman and cmd files. I'm gonna type cd for change directory, windows, and press enter. Then again, cd, system32, enter. Now we need to rename these executable files using the ran command. Type ran, space, utilman.exe, space, utilman1.exe, and press enter. Type ran, cmd.exe, space, utilman.exe, and press enter. Close the command prompt and click continue. Now if you click on the accessibility button, the command prompt will appear on the screen. Or not, just like in my case. I don't have any reasonable explanation why it doesn't start instantly, just like in Windows 10, but anyway, simply wait for a minute and then restart your computer. And now it works. Next I'm gonna go ahead and type the following command. Control, space, user passwords to, and press enter. In the Users tab, select your account and click Reset Password. You can enter a new password here or just leave it blank. Click OK and close the command prompt. Now, if it asks for a password, then simply click on this button and you will log into your account. So, in case if it asks for a PIN here, then you need to click on Sign in Options, click on Password, and now you can log into your account. We can't reset the PIN on the login screen, but once you reset the password and logged into your account, it's very easy to change and remove the PIN. Now let's go a few steps back and talk about the Microsoft account. So in case if this button is grayed out, that means you're using a Microsoft account to sign into Windows. And basically you have two options here. You can go to Microsoft's website and try to recover your account, or you can simply create a new local user account and you'll be able to get access to your data from another one. Go to the Advanced tab, click Advanced, double-click on the Users folder, then go to Action and select New User. Name the new user account, and check this box and click Create. Then double-click on that user, click on the Member of tab, remove Users group and add Administrators. and then restart your PC. Now click on your new user account, choose Privacy Settings, and click Accept. Now, if you open up the File Explorer and go to the C drive, Users, you'll see your previous user account folder, which contains data from the desktop, documents, downloads, etc. So, simply move your files to the new user folder. Once done, you can go ahead and remove the old account. Click Start, Settings, Accounts, Family and Other Users, Select the account you want to delete, click Remove, and click Delete Account and Data. Finally, we need to revert to Tillman and CMD files back to the original names. Again, we need to boot into the Advanced Startup Options menu. Then, using the CD command, enter into the System32 folder. And using the RAN command, rename utilman.exe to be cmd.exe, 
and utilman1.exe to be utilman.exe. And now, as you can see, the accessibility button does what it was meant to do. And the last thing I want to cover is the situation when you're trying to start the command prompt in the advanced startup menu, and it asks to select your user account and enter the password, which you don't know. So in that case, you'll need to create a bootable USB drive. Go to the Microsoft's website, the link in the description, and download Media Creation Tool. Then go to your downloads and open the file. Click Accept, select the language you want to use, and click Next. Now plug in your USB drive, click Next, select your USB drive, click Next, and wait for the download. Once done, plug it in, turn on your laptop, and boot from the USB drive. When you see this Windows Setup dialog box, hold down the Shift key, and then press the F10 key to start the command prompt. For some laptops, you need to press and hold the Shift and Function keys, and then the F10. When you run the command prompt from a bootable drive, it may not see some partitions, and the drive letters may vary from what you see in your Windows Explorer. For example, if I try to access my C drive here, it says the system cannot find the drive specified. So, first we need to find out the correct drive letter, or assign it to the drive or partition. Type disk part, press Enter, then type list, volume, and hit enter. As you can see, the only drive that has an assigned letter is my USB drive. This is my 64 gigs C drive, and these are hidden system partitions. So, what we need to do is assign a drive letter to this partition. Type select volume 1, enter. Then type assign letter C, press enter. And it was successfully assigned. Finally, type exit. And now we can access the C drive and start renaming the files. So, that's it, I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them down below.